At the Catholic University, a speaker clicks through slide after slide of barbed wire, cattle shoot checkpoints, and walls. His mantra? Occupation. What threatens the Christians, he concludes, is what threatens Palestinians. A woman stands up. I wanted to let everyone know, she says, that this talk was full of spin. I can't see her. She's behind me. I'm afraid to look back. The truth is the opposite. My heart goes out to her, standing in the heart of another country. The reason for the wall was that people were being attacked, she says, by terrorists. And after all, the Arabs sold the land. It was too much trouble. I shrink back in my seat. And at a Catholic school, you should know what the church has done, especially during World War II. Then a man gets up. I can't see him. He's behind me. I'm afraid to look back. The Jews bought a tiny piece of land, but the rest, the rest was stolen. My heart goes out to him, standing in the heart of another country. But they did not buy everything, even if they buy Congress. I shrink again. She says, You have 14 Arab countries. Can't we have just one? They should take you in. He says, But this is our land. Why should we have to leave? Because Europe took it from us? That is why we fight. What about peace, someone mumbles. He says, How can you negotiate over a pizza when one side continues to eat? She says, How can you negotiate over a pizza when one side is trying to stab you with knives? It goes on like this for a long time. Years. Decades. Generations. I sit like a child at the table, watch parents grip utensils, spit words like shrapnel. I hate how I love them. Ashamed, I look down, unable to bury the hot metal.